Cleaning the sensor capillary should be a rare event. Good practices include flushing dirty samples immediately after completion of the measurement with plenty of clean water, never allowing the capillary to dry out by keeping clean water in the sample cell, and using care when switching between fluids so as not to create chemical reactions in the flow path. Even after following good sample practices, occasional optical cleaning will be required. The SLS-1000 series sampler has been designed to allow the operator to perform this process using two methods. The first method is simple to accomplish and does not require removing any of the instrument covers. We recommend using this method first since it will resolve most of the contamination issues associated with normal sampling practices. Particle Measuring Systems recommends using a simple laboratory-grade glassware cleaner such as Micro 90 to create the cleaning solution. Other products that have been used successfully are IsoClean, Radiac Wash, and Mr. Clean. Mix up to a 5% solution of cleaning fluid with water. This means 5% cleaning solution combined with 95% water. Retrieve the cleaning syringes that were supplied in the accessory package sent with the system. Open the bottle of diluted cleaning solution and fill one of the syringes about 50 to 75% full. Although the order of connection does not matter, we recommend starting with the syringe that will connect to the sample inlet fitting that is located above the sample stage. This will prevent most of the fluid from draining out of the sampler onto your workbench. Remove the splash guard from the front panel to allow access to the syringe connection. Disconnect the tube fitting connected to the 2 o'clock position of the syringe valve. Be careful when removing the fitting from the valve so as not to damage the flange at the end of the tube. Fill the second syringe about 10 to 20 percent full with a diluted cleaning solution. Attach the tube fitting that was just disconnected to the tube union on the end of the cleaning syringe. Tighten finger tight. Alternately force the cleaning solution back and forth between the two cleaning syringes for anywhere between 30 seconds to one minute. Vary the technique between long slow strokes and short quick strokes for best results. If you feel it is necessary you can leave the cleaning solution in the system for an extended time to allow it to soak the contamination off the capillary surface. Return to forcing the cleaning solution back and forth through the syringes as a final step prior to completion. Once you feel enough cleaning has been performed, remove the syringes. Again, removing the syringes in the recommended order will minimize spills on the lab bench. Disconnect the fitting from the tube union and reconnect it to the SLS-1000 syringe valve. Be careful not to cross-thread the fitting. Finger tighten. Remove the cleaning syringe from the sample inlet and reconnect the sample tube. Immediately flush the cleaning solution from the sampler by taking several samples of clean water. It will take a couple of samples to eliminate the bubbles and detergent, so wait until the second or third sample before verifying the DC light level. If the cleaning effort was successful, this value should now be below the limit specified in the manual. Once satisfied that the sensor is clean and ready to collect more data, replace the syringe splash guard and the system is once again ready to use. Thank you for your time viewing this video. We hope it was informational and provides you with the confidence to perform this simple cleaning process. Please feel free to contact us with comments or questions that relate to this product or procedure.